Hello everybody. In this video we are going to learn about creating realistic trains within MidArts with use of Gaia. So Gaia is a very awesome asset. You can download it from JuntiGameDeveloper.com and we have two versions here. One is the Gaia 1.5.3. This version is for older versions like uh, Unity 5.6. 2017 and Gaia 1.9.2 is for list latest variants like 2019 or 18 etc. So after downloading this variant we have to import this variant inside uh, Unity. So I already have imported it inside Unity and then we will found a tab here in Windows and procedural words and Gaia so when you uh, install this uh, first time if you click here show Gaia manager you will not found this window you will found an installation tab which from which uh, where you can install some dependencies so post processing stack and some other dependencies we have to install first and then after everything uh, installed we are ready to create our trains so now uh, we will click on window and procedural bar Gaia and Gaia manager and here on manager we have some several things we have flying camera first person and third person we can choose from he here so it will initiate instantiate our scene with first person third person or camera after that we have environment, desktop, ultralight, mobile, etc. You, you can select that. We have selected desktop. Then we have a renderer which is built in. Option is fine. Train size. We have different sizes here and we can select our desired size. For our racing scene we will select this 512 meters square uh, certainly but for now or for learning this Gaia we are selecting this standard to 2 km train so after that we have some of these options train default, train resources and game uh, object resources so default folders are fine so we don't need to change these things after that we have a standard tab and we have crane, uh, create train and spawner enhance train create spawners and create player and bake lighting options we can create our system our train by clicking stepwise on these options we have advanced tab as well so advanced tab and standard tab are actually the same in advanced tab we can uh, do the same things which we can do in standard tab but in advanced tab we have some more options here okay separate options so we can utilize advanced tab as well so for our process we will just uh, go with the standard tab and first of all we have to create train and show stamper so we'll click on this option and now one train will appear with 2048 meters square so this is our train and now we will add stamper on our train so on the left side you can see now that we have a Gaia we have a session manager and we have a stamper so first step is to add stamper on our train so for stampers we have Okay, one more thing that you can create your s custom stampers as well. For example, you have your own city. There are some online uh, tools which will create a stamp stamp of your own city. So you can add your own city in uh, stamps as well. Okay, so stamps will get the heights from your city certain areas and it will place. Uh, the th that heights and depths to your train as per your uh, your own city 
so here uh, we will select this temper and then we will go to Gaia folder and in Gaia folder we have some sample stamps and from here we can choose our own stamp so for example we can select islands are um, there are a lot of stamps here so let's uh, for example add this one so we will select the stamps and then we we can drag drop any stamp here okay so now you will see that our heights are added to our train okay you can see heights and uh, depths are added to our train okay so now we want to add this stamp this this is only the preview so for adding this stamp we will click on this stamp option here so let's click on this and now our train is ready okay so that's great now you can see that our train is ready now we can add some textures on our environment we can create some spanners we can create some textures as well so for adding the textures we can click on create spanners so we'll clear click on create spanners and now here you can see that we have some other options as well okay here okay so first of all we have a texture spanner so we can add texture so we will select this option here and you can see a lot of sub options here seed there is a range there is a shape and execution uh, mode etc also we have certain uh, train textures resort type here and we have certain <coughs> sub options as well which we can <coughs> manipulate okay from here frequency strength etc zoom etc usually i have found that the default informations are quite fine and we can go with the default options so after selecting the texture tab we can click on this spawn option so it will spawn the texture on our train so it will add the nice texture to our train and all the process is automatic we didn't have to select any type of nice textures or anything everything is automatic so now hopefully we will get nice texture and texturing is a very important aspect uh, for large train creations and here you can see that we have found a nice textures here and if we zoom in you can see nice details of these textures okay for enhancing these textures you can use some other uh, assets as well as, uh, as well like CTS so CTS is very nice train shader so if you use CTS it will give you a more detailed and realistic textures okay so now after textures we can select coverage game object spanners so here you will find lot of game objects which are built in with Gaia okay so we can add these objects to our environment so if you see rock pile you can see maximum instances uh, this much and after that every uh, tab has its own option and we can manipulate these options as well small form maximum instances and other things as well so we'll go with the default we definitely we will uh, manipulate these informations 
later on when we build our own train uh, and our own levels but for time we will leave these all information and we will click on spawn and it it will spawn game objects on our train also it will spawn the game objects on uh, on the required areas okay for example if it spawns some houses you will see that that houses will be spawned at plane positions okay here you can see that this house this nice house is placed here on this area and here this area is totally blank there is no house here okay so it will get the nice positions of train and it will place the houses at random positions uh, at the plane positions as well okay where the objects are required so after that we have a tree spawner and it will place the tree uh, trees and we have two type of trees broader desktop and corny for desktop okay and we can place these trees as well so I will go with the standard information and we can manipulate definitely and we will click on spawn so it will spawn the trees on our tray train so now you can see that we have trees on certain areas and now we will select the coverage tree spawner and then we will spawn these trees as well so now more trees will appear on whole train okay and now we will select the coverage detail spawner which will spawn the grass and flowers etc on our train okay so select this and definitely we can manipulate each of options here okay so I will not uh, go in details and I will not change the informations inside every step so let's select this and then we can spawn these objects so it will uh, add coverage details to our environment and grass and flowers will be added to our train and you can see that how easy it is to create a realistic a big environment inside unity with use of Gaia also the nice feature of Gaia uh, the latest version of Gaia is that it will post process our scene automatically also it will create sky for us for our environment so let's wait for this processing and then we will go to next steps okay so now we have created our uh, added our grass etc and now if we zoom in you can see nice grass on our train as well okay okay so nice uh, grass on our train surface so that's nice next step is to click on this option which is create player post effects screen shorter and sky and water so when we click on this option we have to click on yes and it will create everything for us player camera and uh, us also it will post process our scene which is very nice aspect of the latest version of uh, Gaia okay so it will take some time and not too much time you can see that it's done now and everything is added you can see nice sky it's uh, already uh, also it's uh, post process and you can see nice fog here on the train and nice shade you can see okay so after that we have bake lighting option and uh, you can do this as well but I will just leave it for time uh, because it will take some more time so that's it we have created our nice environment with use of Gaia 
and we can definitely manipulate each and every information by using the train standard tools we can manipulate the train we can change the textures we can uh, add the heights and other things as well okay so let's play the scene and we will found and we will see that how our train will look like so let's play the scene and here in you you can see the UI you uh, if we press U, we can uh, toggle user interface and this uh, UI comes with this uh, standard fly cam inside this fly cam we have this UI so if we click right mouse button and drag uh, mouse we can look around so you can see nice train now and by right click and drag we can look around and by clicking and uh, by w a, a s d we can move around so it's a quite big train and you can see that how beautiful this train is okay so you can see nice uh, houses and uh, other stuff as well and nice grass and everything is nice looking also the post processing is done so uh, we got a clean clear result so that's nice for this video hopefully you understand the uh, creating the environment with the Gaia so in next video we will move further goodbye